Hi everyone, this is Steve with Affinity Consulting Group, and today I want to talk to you about some uh, ideas about how to produce your pre-bills and get them distributed while everybody's out of the office and working from home. Specifically, we're going to concentrate on Orion for those of you that use time billing, Orion's rather, Orion's time billing and accounting software. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look. So if you use Orion, you are most likely familiar with the pre-bill manager. In fact, that's how we generate pre-bills in Orion. So I took the liberty of going ahead and generating some pre-bills prior to creating the video. But as you know, just as a quick reminder to come into pre-bill manager, click generate pre-bills, and you'll set all your parameters up and you'll hit create. When you create the pre-bills, it'll run through all of the eligible time billing and accounting uh, entries out there and figure out which ones are eligible based on your selected parameters. Once you've got the pre-bills generated, then what, I'm, what I've done next is I'm, I turned on the grouping panel. So to do that, I do right click on the column headers and you'll choose show grouping panel. I'll just quickly turn it off and then we'll turn it back on again. And then what you'll do is you'll take the responsible lawyer's ID, assuming that you want to distribute your pre-bills this way, and you'll grab it and you'll put that into the grouping panel. Now what that does is it shows you a uh, total of all the records for each of the responsible lawyers. Uh, in my case, uh, responsible lawyer initials CBS and responsible lawyer initials NEE. Now if I want to see the 10, I hit the little plus sign right here, it shows me the 10 pre-bills for CBS. And if I want to send them to him or her um, while he or she's working from home, I'm going to highlight the first one, hold the shift key down, highlight the last one, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say print pre-bills. Now the normal print pre-bill window will come up. Don't forget you can include a pre-bill worksheet on top of the pre-bills if you want. You can also uh, include the cost images that have, may have been scanned in with the pre-bills. And I am going to then choose export and I'm going to choose PDF. Now as a prerequisite to, to this, this requires that you have what I call PDF production software. Um, Adobe Acrobat, not the reader. Um, Nuance Power PDF, Cube PDF, Nitro PDF. There's a whole lot of them out there. Um, in my case, I've got Nuance Power PDF. So I'm going to choose PDF file. What Orion's going to do is it's going to take those pre-bills and it's going to print them into one long PDF. Now, I chose the pre-bill worksheet, so that's my first page. What's nice about this is the attorney can print this page out if he or she wishes and keep track of what he or she has done with the pre-bills. Moving on to the next page, here's our first pre-bill. I'm going to go ahead and slide down to the second one. <clears throat> and in Power PDF, I can do a couple of things. I can notate if I want to make some changes. So let's say, for example, that I want to take this, uh, tr I want to supplement what it says here under trial preparation. So in my PDF software, and they all do this, um, in Power PDF, I come over to where it says comment and I click on note. Like I said, they all have this function. It's just a matter of being able to find the note button. I'm going to click on note and I'm going to click my mouse right next to where I want to make an edit and click one time. And what it does is it puts a little yellow icon there that references a note. By the way, you can change the color if you want. And here I'm going to say add uh, this to the time entry description meeting with client and judgment in client's favor. And perhaps I want to say also make the time entry 11.0 hours or something along those lines. And you can see in here I've misspelled and I can right click and I can fix that. Close that up and it leaves a little notepad right there with that your uh, attorney can leave for you and you can then hover over it. You can see the details. You can actually click on, double click on it. It'll open the note if you want to. So you can do some copying and pasting, etc. Now. Again, that presumes that the recipient, A, has PDF production software where they can put a note on the pre-bill, and B, they know how to do it. Now, if they don't know how to do it, the other option that you have, go ahead and send the pre-bills just like we suggested, but also send them in a RATA sheet. So if you notice, every record in the pre-bill has a record number, and the record number is unique to that particular time entry. So I created an errata sheet. Let me show that to you here. And if you shoot me an email, I'll send this to you if you want, or feel free to just copy my idea and create your own errata sheet. But what I've created here is a place where I can check off 
put that record or entry number, the matter number in question, and then my instructions. So this is a great way for the attorney who's not quite comfortable with editing a PDF to go ahead and um, utilize the errata sheet by typing in the entry number, matter number, and then their instructions. Now, let's minimize this again. Let's go back to Orion. And hopefully you know this, but if you don't, I'll share it with you. If you do, it'll be a quick reminder that if you want to then make an entry to any of the fee entries, you can simply come to your fee entry. In my case, I'm just going to do it through the time manager. Click the new button. Now, of course, you can bring up the time and you can edit it here. You can also click the new button. And then right here, there's a little icon that looks like a magnifying glass. Click on that and put in the entry number or the record number that the attorney has referenced. Click OK, it brings up that fee entry. You can make edits here. You can change the amount of time, you know, if necessary. I want to make this 2.8 or whatever it is. Click Save, and that makes the modification for you because, of course, I don't have a rate code. So let's go ahead and just choose that. We'll hit Save, and that makes that modification for me. And, and that red entry is still released to WIP. So that's one way you can do it quickly if they're going to reference for you on, for example, the serata sheet, the entry number, or if you want to pull up that fee or expense entry by its record number. Now, remember, uh, you can still make the edits like you always have. There's no, uh, no harm done as long as you have remote access to Orion. Last thing I want to say about this is uh, for those of you that have Orion version 5, uh, Orion features the e pre uh, module. And you can add that onto your license by contacting Orion and having them set that up for you. Um, we don't have a video at the moment. I think Orion has a video, uh, but we could do a video on the e -pre bill if you're interested. And essentially, that avoids having the whole uh, having to send the PDF out because the electronic pre bill can be edited right within Orion software on an iPad, on a Mac, uh, not on a Mac. I'm sorry, on an iPad or on a um, PC. At your, at your choice if you and your attorneys can edit their pre bills that way and route them to others to look at, etc. So if you don't have the e -pre bill module and you're interested in that, let us know, let Orion know, and we can hopefully get you set up with that maybe for your next month's pre bills. So uh, that's all I really wanted to show you, just some ideas of how to get those pre bills distributed while we're all stuck at home. Um, again, my name is Steve Best. I'm with Affinity Consulting Group. And if you have any questions, you can reach me at uh, sbest at affinityconsulting.com or call any one of our main numbers, uh, such as 770-998-3800. Thank you.